What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to model a Murphy bed and I'm doing this for uh, my project, for my micro apartment or my studio apartment. It's always cool to have a Murphy bed and I couldn't find a cool family so I decided to create one and to create a tutorial. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. And if you want to download this uh, Murphy Bed Family as well as the uh, small apartment or studio apartment uh, project file, check out my Patreon first link in the description. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm just going to start with a new family and uh, for this, I'm going to drop back a folder and go with the metric templates and I'm just going to choose a either generic or maybe even furniture family for this. So just open that up and this is what we have. So this is what we're starting from. Uh, and now we need to create a uh, Murphy bed family. So uh, it has to have a vertical, uh, a vertical position as well as a horizontal position. So to do that, uh, I need to have some a separate family that's going to be nested here. That's going to be placed either vertically or horizontally, depending on the parameters we set. So how do you do that? Well, I'm just going to go here to File, New, and then create an, a newer family that we're going to nest inside of this family. So just go for Family, and for this one, this will be just a bed family. And uh, this one we're going to categorize as uh, face-based. Now the reason I'm choosing face-based is because it's going to make us easier to place it on a vertical or a horizontal uh, reference plane. So just go here, create maybe a simple extrusion, kind of like this. And uh, let's see, it should be from the middle, uh, 1000 millimeters. And here this should be 2000. Or maybe let's do, yeah, instead of... 1000 let's make it smaller let's make this something like 800 by and then this should be 1600 yeah that's enough for a bed it it's for a small apartment so it doesn't have to be huge anyway let's just go like that and this should be then two meters okay so this is the the mattress so let's just finish that to go into front elevation maybe uh, zoom in yeah and let's just lift it off the ground a bit and Let's give it an offset like 10 centimeters off the ground, which is 100 millimeters. And for the thickness, yeah, let's leave it at 250. And, and now let's just do like a, a board on which this sits. So just go reference plane or reference level, go to create, extrusion, uh, rectangle, and uh, just give it an offset of something like, I don't know, like 50 millimeters or 5 centimeters and go just like that and we hit finish and then we go to front elevation and lower this over here and extend this like that. Okay, so once we have this, this is the this is the mattress family that we're going to be uh, using and let's just go into 3D and uh, let's give this uh, mattress some uh, some material. So let's go over here, let's see what do we have for maybe some fabric. Let's see. Yeah, let's use this fabric material. Load it in, hit apply, OK. And for this, let's use some wood material. So let's choose some wood. And of course, I'm going to use birch wood as I do every other time when I'm modeling something. OK, so we have this family and now it's time to load this into our original family. So just go load into project. And uh, here, as you can see, you can place it on a plane. So let's just place it on this vertical plane first and maybe let's align it so just AL to align it with the center and let's go to front elevation this is what we get let's go to left elevation okay so this is what it looks like uh, when it's when it's in the vertical position but I want to actually uh, move it to the other side perhaps so or no yeah maybe let's move it to the other side let's see so create similar can we do it yeah so let's place it like that. I think it would be better. And now go align. Yeah, just like that. Okay, so this is now the front of our whole uh, cupboard that holds our Murphy bed. So let's just go to create extrusion and let's create something around it. So I'm just going to do something like this to get the basic dimension and then extend it here, extend it here. And let's see, so this side, I'm going to extend from the edge by 
yeah let's do it 400 and this I'm just going to make it go all the way near the edge at like 10 millimeters uh, distance and now I can select this and I mirror it to the other side hit finish and uh, let's go to front elevation yeah this is what it looks like so you kind of set it like that maybe we can bring this down a bit yeah let's let's align it with this and then this we can bring down a bit. Okay, so this is what we have for, so if I go into 3D, this this is like what the face of our Murphy bed uh, will look like. Now let's do the back. So just go over here. Now we can edit this, so edit extrusion and uh, do the back side. So the back side should go over here. Uh, it should be, yeah, kind of like that. So, and here it should probably have some uh, storage over here as well kind of like that. Let's give it a 20 millimeter thickness. Yeah, 20 millimeters. Yeah, kind of like that. Just make sure that it you give it a, a little bit of an offset like this. And yeah, let's just mirror this to the other side. It's perhaps easier. So just do that. Mirror around the center axis. Yeah, there we go. So we've got a little bit of storage over here on the sides. And that's our Murphy bed when you go into 3D. This is what it will look like when it's in a fixed position. Now, for this, uh, you have this visible option and here you have this parameter. So we can create a new parameter that will actually change uh, the visibility of this Murphy bed. So when it's in the upright position, we want it to be visible, but when it's down, we want this part to be invisible. So let's set that now. So you just go here and uh, create this create parameter and let's just call this uh, up bed. So let's just call it up, who cares? And hit OK. OK again and OK. So now this is dependent, uh, dependent on uh, the parameter that we're going to set later on. But let's just add the horizontal bed now. So let's just go to front elevation. And yeah, we can do it on this reference uh, level. So just go create, set, uh, pick a plane, okay, pick this here reference plane if we can only select it or maybe reference level. Yeah, that's even better. And I'll go to reference level and uh, just go here to component and there you go. So you can place it on a work plane and just choose this work plane over here. So you just choose work plane and then you can select the, the thing and then move it a bit in like this and just go into 3D. So this is what we have. So this will be the open position and this oh, and this is the closed position. Uh, now we need to select this and for the visibility let's open this up and uh, go here to new parameter and call this down and just hit OK. OK again. There we go. So now let's go here to the to the family types dialog and these are the only two parameters uh, that we have and now let's create a new type so new type and let's call this bed bed uh, up hit OK and now for this we're going to uncheck this uh, down bed and then go here to new per new type and call this one bed again down and then for that one we're going to uncheck the up one and check the down one hit apply Okay, and uh, just one more thing. Let's set the material for this thing to this th to that same wood. So let's set it to birch. Uh, now you might see that even if we change, oops, uh, even if we change this uh, from uh, bed up to bed down and hit apply, uh, the both are still here. That's because that's just how Revit works with the family editor. But if I go and load this into a project, so let's just start a new project new project uh, yeah let's make it an architectural template yeah that's okay and let's place a simple wall over here and then let's go to our family where is our murphy bed family okay here it is and let's just go load into project project one hit okay and let's just uh, set it over here near the wall or maybe we can even align it with the wall and go into 3d 
So as you can see now it's in the up position, maybe we can turn it to realistic. Yeah, now it's in the up position and then if we change it to the down position, now it's open and people can sleep here. So there you go. Now of course you can add some pillows, you can add something here on top, you can make it look nice, but that's basically the point how to make a parametric uh, Murphy bed that actually changes on your command. So you can make simple changes when showing this to your client and you can actually see in the floor plan uh, when it's in this state how much uh, room is it occupying so you know how much uh, room you need to leave for this bed when it opens up. But anyway, that's pretty much it for this uh, cool Murphy bed tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you want to download this Murphy bed family, as well as the whole uh, studio apartment project uh, of which this is part of, uh, check out my Patreon first link in the description. Okay, so that's pretty much it and I'll see you tomorrow.